feel the rain coming down right now. Find me, feel alive, and I don't know how. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. So glad to be filming. I we're kind of kind of do a negative one, even though I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, let's talk more like eek from Shop Masse, the bad. Um, there's not much, but there's enough to talk about in a video um, of things that you should not probably grab from Shop Masse and why. Um, sometimes it's just accidental or preferable, like, you know, my, my opinion, my preference for things that might keep you, me from liking something that you may like. There we go. So if it seems like it might intrigue you, I could be wrong, you know, it could just not work for me, it could work for you, I don't know, but I like to steer you guys away from things that I don't think are worth your money, steer you towards things that I think you're going to love. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what you might want to avoid. And like I always say, everything about me right now and everything we're going to talk about will be down below in the description box. Everything is linked for you guys if you want to check it out. I do earn a small commission if you purchase anything through those links, and I thank you because it allows me to keep doing this. All right, number one, can we guess why? <laughs> this sucker. Um, this is one of the hair ties. It was a hair scrunchie at one time in its life. I might just use it as a headband to keep my hair out of my face while I'm doing my skincare now, but the elastic in this broke quite quickly. I have another one. It hasn't broken yet, but I don't have that thick of hair or too much hair to where this should have broke as fast as it did. So the big hair scrunchies that are velvet, mm, you might want to get yours on Amazon versus Shop Miss A. Meh. The next thing that I just do not think is worth it are these air fresheners. This is the one I talked to you guys about. I talked to you in my empties about how I did not like these. Um, I have another one and it's done the same thing. So I know that it's not just this scent. It's I can smell it if my nose is directly on it like directly on it. Um, other than that, you will not smell these. They are less potent than even car air fresheners, you know? Like this is where you put them. It's on your mirror in your car. You would not smell this. This would be like a week old one that you would get from Walmart. And it's just not worth it. Go to Walmart and just grab the multi-pack of the ones that actually work. Plus they don't have really good scents. Like they're, it's nothing that you would want to smell over and over and over again continuously. So they need to change up their scents and make it a little bit stronger. Next are these two foundations. I tried these on camera with you guys and I did not like how it turned out. Even on my hand where there was no primer, there was no nothing, it bunched up into an oily group of just nastiness. And it did that on my face as well. This is the Amuse Matte Finish Foundation. There was nothing mad about it. People said, don't use the primer that you did. It was too hydrating. Go in with like a more matte foundation. Tried that. It did the same thing. The same thing. No matter what I've done to try this out, it is, it's gross. It makes my skin feel gross. I want to take it off. It makes my face itch. And it bunches up. And it doesn't cover enough. It's just not for me. I'd, I'd rather just go 55 cents more and get the AOA Pro Wear, which I know is fantastic. Next, and this is on the newer side. I never have good hope with these guys. That's why I tried it right away. I wanted to know. These are new that came out. They're from Malibu Glitz, and I just recently hauled these, but they're lip products. I use lip products every second of the day. These are their almond oil, which is the pink, healing lip balms, and this is the hazelnut in the yellow. This is a clear, very thin, oily consistency of a lip balm, but it comes in a spout that you see normally with a thicker lip balm. So it threw me off right away, and then I ended up literally pouring it down my chin because I was not expecting it to have, like, it, it to be straight oil. And that's what it is. It slides out of your lip line, it gets all over your face. It actually made my lips feel chapped. And I was instantly like, nope, this is not going to happen. These are horrible. So, you know, if you like that kind of very oily consistency, I don't. Um, I need it to actually work. Next, we had a whole streaming comment um, on one video, I think, where I hauled this. Um, that people were like, you're not going to like that. Be careful with that. That is dangerous. 
and so I was careful with it and I still had a horrible experience with it. This is the Global Beauty Care Sugar Scrub and this is their facial cleansing sugar scrub. Now I thought because it was sugar that it might it might be a softer, more gentle way of exfoliating because most of the time, especially cheaper companies, St. Ives, Below, um, they will use nut particles. You know, they'll crown up almond nuts or walnuts or something into an exfoliator. And that is so dangerous because if you've ever broken a nut, it turns into shards, like very sharp shards. So St. Ives has gone through that a lot um, with their apricot. I think it is. It's like apricot shells or pits that they used and it was cut in people's face. Well, this was no different. This didn't feel like a sugar scrub. This felt like a glass scrub and it literally left scratch marks on my face. I accidentally got it near my eyes up here in my eyebrow area and my eyes, the top of my eyelids, they turned dry, crepey, and it took me like a week to get it back to moisturized and flat. It was just all around a very, very bad experience, and I do believe that it is dangerous. So I do not think that people should go anywhere near this. It could really mess up your face. So this, this is, and this is from Global Beauty Care. You'll find them on Shop Masse, at the Dollar Tree, at Big Lots if you have one. Um, you can find them in a lot of different places, but you need to be careful because this brand, the Global Beauty Care, has been consistently very dangerous, horrible ingredients are used just overall not good like almost everything that i've tried from them the next is something that i've just recently been trying out because i was trying out a lot of cream products so i can get to know them how they work behind the scenes this i got from shop miss a because their actual aoa one is sold out and has been sold out for months i have not been able to get my hands on it so if any of you see that the aoa one of these is in stock the contour sticks please let me know so I don't miss it. They go out of stock like that, so they must be good, you know? But this is from LA Colors, and we all know that for some reason, Shop Masse seems to get the LA Colors rejects. I mean, you can go to the Dollar Tree and find LA Colors and find good products from LA Colors. I know that I've gone to Big Lots, bought a bunch of LA Colors items, and they are amazing. They, like, beat out even high-end stuff. So why does Shop Masse only seem to have the shitty LA Color products? I've tried all the lip liners that's on the site. They are horrible. They break. There's no pigment. It's just ridiculously, you might as well burn your dollar. This is no different. This is no different. This took off every single bit of foundation I had wherever I put this, turned me bright orange, and made me blotchy and look like I had like leprosy or something. I had some weird face skin condition. I tried this so many different ways. So many different ways. I looked up tutorials on how to apply a cream contour, you know, how to make it work for you. I tried all of the tricks. This is just a crappy ass product, their contour stick. It's just, and I got it medium to contour. That's what it's called. And it's just, it's a little drier than any other kind of contour I've come in contact with. But it does blend out if you have a damp beauty blender. But if you see that, it's patchy and it turns oranger as you spread it out. Not a friend. And as we're talking about LA Colors lip liners, I put that in here to talk about the LA lip liners. Oh! Yeah, I didn't need that dollar. I could have just burned it in the front yard. Made a statement. The next item, I've had this for a while. I've been trying it out, seeing if maybe it's just me, looking at reviews, and I think overall this is just an unnecessary product. This is from AOA, and it's their face mas massager tool, and you're supposed to use it like this and like this, you know, to try to bring some blood flow to your skin, but of course you will, because this feels like someone repeatedly punching you in the face. Or you are using your face to go down a gravel road with a bunch of potholes. That's what it feels like. It does its job, but if you have the gua sha or the gua sha roller, it's going to do the same thing without the pain. So and it's just cheap, and I don't really understand the point. So I like, maybe this is like an, a personal preference, that I like the gua sha over this. Because it's just bumpy and hard, and it makes my eyes shake, and I, I just don't like it. I feel like it does more harm than it does good. And then next, this is the AOA. This is just a comedone extractor, which is a blackhead extractor. This 
came straight. I use these. I get them off from Amazon and I use them for my husband because I check his back a lot. He does have a lot of um, back acne. So I help him with that and I love it. It helps me with my anxiety. I'm a picker. It's part of my anxiety disorder. So I love to be like a monkey. <laughs> so I got this because I'm like, hey, the ones that I purchase are not a dollar. So if this is great quality, whoo, another thing that Shop Miss A takes over my life with, but no. This bent so quickly, and if they bend enough, they just snap right off and break. And this is about two seconds from doing that, and I only used it once. So don't get it from Shop Miss A. Go ahead and grab a good quality steel one from Amazon. Yeah. Next is this quad that we all loved the look of, and the swatches were great, and we were all excited about it. I don't know, I was. <laughs> This is the AOA quad. Look how gorgeous it is. This is one that stuck out to everybody when I first hauled this. It is an orchid. It's gorgeous. It's pretty. But it stinks in quality. It is... It's sad. It almost drives me to anger. Because it's so beautiful and I wanted it to work so much. The other ones didn't swatch very well. They performed good on the eyes though. This one swatched great. But on the eyes, I couldn't come up with a good look with this. I tried and tried and tried. It is not good with a brush on the eyes. The most you could do with this is wet it down and use it for some kind of liner. What's the point? That's why I have liners. Next, this is from Santee. It's their lip primer. I've never needed a lip primer before, but it's supposed to be like basically concealer over your lips so whatever you put on top of your lips is the actual pigment because some people have naturally just flesh toned lips others have really darker lips others have really pink red lips so it can come in between your lip color and change the actual lip color that you put on so i like the idea of that um i just went over my mouth with a beauty blender real quick before i line and put my lipstick on but this, I thought, well, that's something specific for it. But, I mean, I can be here all day. Just going up and down, up and down, up and down. And for some reason, this doesn't really change. And it doesn't really show up. And it does the same thing on the lip. And it bunches around the corners of your mouth. And makes it look like you don't know how to eat. Like a toddler. So, this was a big no for me right off the bat. I was like, no, that product did me dirty the first get-go. It's gone. <laughs> this is sad for me. This is one of the AOA Artista liners. If you guys know, I, I talk these up so much and I use them so much. I used the brown one today. I love these. I, I have every single color. This one in purple, however, I just used the other day. It's great, you know? Like, it's a great liner. It's, and it's purple. But if you could even see it up close, it's already doing it. This feathers so bad. It feathers. No matter where you put it, it feathers. And then on top of it, it stains your eyes. Do you know how long I've been trying to get this to come off my eyes since I wore that look with it last week? <laughs> I tried oil. I tried everything. This, the purple one, they need to reformulate. Every other one I've tried is great. Doesn't do it. Doesn't do that at all. The purple one, which I had never used before, finally got to try it out, and it was horrible. <laughs> so I guess all the other ones are great. Just don't go for the purple one. And I think very lastly here, um, something that I could not take off. It's still on my shower, actually, but it's junk, and I would not recommend it, is the OKI um, shower liner for your shower curtain. That is so cheap. So cheap. It's already almost ripped in half in my shower and I've never had that happen and it for some reason it sticks to your skin and like follows you everywhere in the shower and that's just not cool to me. So the OK, OKI shower liner is a no-go for me. I cannot wait to get it off my shower curtain and put something else on there because that was I would think you'd get better quality at the Dollar Tree honestly. So that is another thing I would say stay away from. Ugh. All right, so that is everything that I have been disliking from Shop Miss A lately. I like to tell you guys all about the things that are just not working for me. So if you are a lot like me or you can relate, then you'll know to just save your dollar and maybe you'll use that dollar on something that you actually find you love. Like I said, I will list these all down below for you if you want them for reference or if you think that they might actually work for you because some of these are a personal preference. So I will go ahead and leave those linked down below along with all of my information for you guys. Thank you so much 
for watching my video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of these. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads. And I, of course, will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.